What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. The winner was the B Drill, I guess, Swarm deck, the Swarming Steam B Drill, the new one from Evolutions. And we're going to see today is this Pokemon good or not? I know coming to Evolutions, it was one of the most hyped decks. And we're going to see today does it work tonight or is it a bad deck overall? Now, the point of Beedrill is you're going to use Swarmy Sting, obviously, like, that's the name of the deck, Swarmy Sting Beedrill, or Beedrill Swarm, I've heard both names before, but Swarmy Sting, this type does 40 damage, ties the number of Beedrill you have and play to one of your opponent's Pokemon, don't apply weakness or resistance to those bench Pokemon, but to the active you can, which is very, a very nice thing to notice, so Swarmy Sting, if you get down 4 Beedrills, you do 106 damage, which still... Is not a knockout on anybody, but the point of the deck is to two shot EXs, and maybe they struggle to knock out you. You can also knock out Shamans as well if you have three Beedros down, which almost every deck plays Shamans, so you can punish them almost automatically, which is fantastic. And like I said, you have to knock out your Beedro 120 HP. I just wish Beedro had one energy. If Beedro had one energy, the deck would be so much better, but since it needs two, it becomes really, really hard to set up, which is the only bad downside about the stack. So, of course, play a 4 for 4 line of that. Now, there's other Weedos, there's other Kagunas, but we have, like, we're playing base set uh, Beedrill, so we're going to play base set all the way through. I think the other Weedle has, like, 50 HP or something. Uh, I think this Kakuna is actually the better one. But, yeah, we're playing a 4 for 4 line for sure. Now, to save our Beedrills from being knocked out, we're actually going to use Mew EX, because Mew EX has a versatile, which you can use any Pokemon's attacks to play, but you still need the necessary energies. So you can copy Swarming Sting and attack with your Beedrill with Mew instead, so that way you're not sacrificing a the Beedrill. They still have the same amount of HP, they both have 120. Mew is a 90 EX attacker, but you're not getting rid of one of your Beedrills, which is fantastic. And of course, like I always, play 2 Shaman to help set up. Alright, that's all the Pokemon of the deck. It's very straightforward, it's very standard, like 4 for 4, Beedrill, uh, 2 Mew. Beedrill does have Free Retreat, which is fantastic. If you notice, the only downside about this deck is we don't play Switch or Floodstone, and that's because we play 6 Pokemon that you want to start with. Now, Shaman, you could potentially just let it get knocked out or just Sky Return and waste the energy. Um, I couldn't find room for Switch or Floodstone and stuff like that, so I obviously didn't play one in this deck. Um... But yeah, that's that's all the Pokemon in the deck right now. So three low ball, search check for Pokemon with 90 HP or less, which is Weedle and Kakunas. Uh, of course, we will get this out ASAP. We have to find our Pokemon to try to do a ton of damage. Now we play four Revitalizers. Put two Grass Pokemon from your Discarpel back into your hand. And this means if a Beedrill gets knocked out, you can automatically grab a Kakuna and a Beedrill to get it back into play if you do have Weedle on the field with the Force of Giant Plants, which is fantastic. Now we still play one Super Rod and one Karen. Super Rod's going to be really useful to get back those energies. You could play a Brock's Grit, but then you're wasting a Supporter Guard. Uh, I think Karen's like a last game. Like, last last turn, you use Karen. Next turn, Sycamore. Get all the Beedrills out, kind of com combo, wombo stuff, and be good to go. Uh, Super Rod's like a mid-game, early game. If you discard some Pokemon, you can play it, get some energies and Pokemon back into your deck, which is fantastic. Now, one key card you have to have, have in here is Town Map. You have to see what's prize cards. You have to see those prize cards, because you need to find that Beedrills. You need to find those Forest Giant Plants. You have to know you're drawn to the right cards and of course like always four trainers well four ball four be a seeker now like i said earlier we'll play one karen shuffle all pokemon back into your deck and like i said this is great in gamer you you care like on the second to last turn sycamore you have all your pokemon in your hand put boom 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 boom, boom put everybody down and win the game which is fantastic all right so three in and four sycamore very light on supporter cards but we play two shaman uh we play a bunch of search cards like the trainers well ultra ball v and love ball so you should be fine uh, to his support cards, you shouldn't really weren't, weren't run into a dead spot. Uh, four Forest Giant Plants, because we have to get the Beedrills out ASAP. Uh, three EXP shares. Remember earlier I said Beedrill, he has two two energy to attack. So you need some way to recycle these energies to help you uh, take ta take to hit to keep attacking. Because Beedrill, you know, it has 120 HP, which is like decent. But if they constantly keep one-shotting you, you need to recycle your energies over and over again, which is what EXP helps helps you do. And of course, we play energy, so eight grass energies. You could play maybe ten, but I couldn't find space for it. I think eight is fine as well. But guys, there we go. There's the Beedrill Mew uh, deck. Now, if you don't want to play Mew, what you could do is cut a one-one Mew for one Aridos, so that way you can like swim me seeing the active for 160 with Aridos 170 take a knockout that way which is fantastic if you want to do that uh, also Aridos can always just be poisoned Pokemon over and over again so they eventually retreat you could do that we don't play any Lysander but Lysander could be good maybe Lysander style if you want to do that but obviously I, I opted not to like you need to get your Beedrills out ASAP you have to do damage like you have to find these Beedrills to actually do damage which is why I like the search count so high but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and let's see the deck in action
All right, pretty good Agent C. I guess I say his name, Agent SC, uh, playing some kind of fighting deck. So, yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead, like always. And we won the coin pool, which is fantastic. So, uh, yes, I would like to go first. Oh, to our turn. Let's see what kind of crazy setup we can get. Okay, so that's a mulligan. We'll press done. Uh, take number two. Hopefully, we start like Mew, like four Weedles, forest, uh, four some love balls, Sycamore. That'd be great. All right, so press done. Take number two. Let's see what do we get. All right, so B drill. Okay, so another mulligan. Okay, we'll take number three. Let's try again. Come on in. Oh no, a shame and start. The one Pokemon we do not want to start with. Oh man. All right, so press done. We got some trainer smell. We got a sycamore. We got a revitalizer. All the good cards we don't want to see is what is in our hand right now. Oh, we have to waste the energy on shame and retreat. Oh no, we don't even play like switch or escape rope. Uh, okay, whatever. So, carping in the axe spot. So, we'll trainer smell. Grab a. I'm actually going to grab an in. I, I know we can grab a love ball, but I really want to grab an in right now. So, I'm going to trainer smell. Alright, not going to grab anything. And we're going to play an in to get a new hand of sex. Now, I wonder what this carving break deck is. Alright, so we get a Weedle, Kakuna. So, I'm going to put down Weedle. Forced. Um, Ultra Ball, discard one and two, and hopefully there's just a Shaman in our deck, because if there's not, we're in trouble. So yeah, we'll grab a Shaman, we'll put the Shaman down, we'll put down Kakuna and the Shaman, so Kakuna, uh, put down the Shaman, set up for six new cards, and let's see, what do we find? Now, we might still just have to grasp the active for the turn, there's a like Beedrill, Kakuna, okay, so put down the Weedle, put down Beedrill, and unfortunately we'll have to pass. Like, we don't even have an energy for the turn. We did discard one, but, uh, yeah, we didn't draw into another one. Fantastic. So my opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. Uh, if only we didn't start with Shaman, we could have a turn to Swarm Racing. Uh, but only do 40 right now, but it hits the active weakness, so 80 was still... Not enough to knock out Carbing because it's 90 HP. Now, what we could do is let the Carbing just get knocked out, which is not a bad play either. So, Sycamore discards like, oh, a, oh, a ground on deck. A primal ground on deck. So, Strong Energy going to the active. And do we just see a pass? Uh, that could be a possibility. Do we just let the Shaman get knocked out? Okay, so in our turn, we get a Mew. Um, I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard Revitalizer, and the. The Mew to get out a Kakuna. Wow, we have two Beedrill prized. Okay, so that's great. Uh, put down Kakuna and we'll have to pass, unfortunately. So it'll pass. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. They can start using Power Gym for 60. Or no, 40 because we have resistance. Okay, so that the three shot us. Uh, there's Carbon Break coming down. Okay. Do they have any dark? Uh, they do have a fighting energy. Okay. All right, so one fighting energy, the Discard Pal. Which is not good. I mean, the, the bad thing right now is they have two Beedrill prizes, which is not what we want to see. And playing a, a Beedrill Swarm deck, like, we want as many as possible. So we see Sycamore go and discard his hand, draw 70 cards, discard a bunch of fighting. But that's okay, he does have the, the Diamond Gift attached to Fighting Energy from Discard Pile to one of his Pokemon. Which is great, or attached two Energies from one of his Discard Pile to one of his Fighting Pokemon, sorry. So Ultra Ball probably going to Primal Groudon, right? I imagine we see Primal Groudon. Alright, so this card's a Primal Groudon and a Switch uh, to get a Groudon EX out. Okay, hopefully we top next up. Oh, a Hoopa. Gonna use that Scoundering Switch for three EX Pokemon. And is he playing something else besides the Primal Groudon? It'd be pretty crazy. Now, looking Primal Groudon is weak to Grass, so we can maybe one-shot it if we get three uh, three builders out. But we have two prizes. So, you see Hoopa. Gonna use that Scoundering Switch for three EX Pokemon. And what do we do? Do we try to two-shot these Groudon? So Groudon, Primal Groudon. It has the Theta Max as well. Okay, so we can't even like... Man, we can't even one-shot Shaman right now because we have... We have... Uh, we have Shaman... We have our Beedrill prize. So Spirit Lagoon to that guy. We might see a Shaman. Oh, Scorched Earth coming down. I don't care about that. Uh, get this card of Fire. A Fighting, draw two new cards. This is strong going to the active. Wow. So now, I mean... Diamond Gift still not going to do too much to so 40 damage. Attach two Fighting Energy to this Groudon, most likely. Alright, so yep, there's one and two. And on our turn, what's going to happen? There's a Grass Energy. Okay, so I'm going to Grass Energy active and just pass. Because what can happen next turn? He could, like, he could knock us out. Which is bad, right? If he knocks us out, then we lose the shame of the Grass Energy. Okay, Lysander, bring up the Beedrill. Okay, a Primal Groudon comes up, and he's going to Shaman... 
Go to setup. Okay, if only I knew he was going to do this. So Shaman, go to setup for five new cards. And can he find an energy and a mega turbo to knock out a B drill? That'd be probably one of the worst things to happen. So Trainer's Mill, look at tough cards of his deck. Uh, gonna grab a switch. Not really that. I mean, yes, Carping does have a one tree cost, so maybe it could be somewhat useful. But he needs to find a mega turbo and an energy. Another Trainer's Mill, okay. Oh, man, we have two B and Jill's prize. Oh, man, that's that's a, that's just a bad thing to say. Uh, we haven't found a Via Seeker. We haven't found a, a Sycamore either. Uh, we played two Trainer's Mill, two Ultra Ball, no Love Ball just yet, okay? But maybe we can still do this. Maybe we still got this, guy. So uh, what my point to do is he's going to treat to Shaman, which is very interesting. Um, I don't know why you would do that. So switch back, okay, he's going to switch back to Carving and then hit us. So energy on the active, okay? And he's going to hit us for Power Gem for 60. And he's going to attach two energies. Oh, yeah, no, he's just going to Power Gem for 60. So there's a Weedle. Not what we want. Another good card. Not another card we don't want. <sighs> oh, my goodness. All right. Um, you can just knock us out next turn by just Power Gem. Oh, it's going great, guys. It's going fantastic. So I'm going to put down Weedle. I'm gonna treat to Weedle and like cry a little, like just just cry a little on the inside. That's a good thing as well, right? So he'll draw a card. If he has a license, he can bring a beat or like a knockout. All right, so things are going great right now, guys. Don't worry, we got this. Uh, we got this, guys. Don't worry. Uh, if you're seeking for license, bring it to Beedrill, take a knockout, go to five. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, whatever. We don't need a Beedrill, who cares? All right, bring a Beedrill, take a knockout, go to five prize cards. So Ultra Ball going to discard two cards, and let's see what does he, okay, he discards an end, it's something else. He's teasing us, he even discards an end, and not, he doesn't even grab anything. He's like, yeah, I'm going to discard the end, and then, you know, not get anything. He'll switch to Shaman again. Does he have another switch? And no, he's going to, okay, I'm so confused right now. My brain hurts. Okay, so uh, we're going to put down four Sinai Plants. We're going to Via Seeker four and N. Uh, gonna give us both a new hand, but hopefully we can find a grass and some beedrills. Oh no, and not a beedrill. We're looking for a grass and an exp share, but we did not hit the exp share. We'll put down Kakuna. We will love a ball for a Weedle. Okay, we'll put down a Weedle on this guy. Put a grass in the active. Retreat into the Kakuna. And I think right now I'm just going to pass on to my opponent's turn, okay? We're going to draw a card. Alright, so we're not going to knock out the active. I mean, we're not going to do any damage. We could have, but I really don't want to lose this B-Gel. Now next turn we can get a B-Gel, put that down for retreat, and then maybe go for Swarming Sting for uh, 80. Which is still not the best thing at all. Like, it's not good at all. Like, it's, it's terrible, actually. Alright, so another Groudon coming down, okay? But if we can get by these B-Gels, we might be okay. There's a Groudon spilling going to that guy, okay. Okie dokie. And Max looks here. I'm still trying to figure out what my, my opponent's doing, really. They could have knocked out last turn, but they opted not to, which is very, very strange. So we see a fighter going to that guy. We see a fighter going to the active. We might see a retreat uh, to the carving. Okay, all right. Well, I don't know what's happening, but he's going to hit us uh, with Diamond Gift for 20. Now, our, he's going to pad this ground on, right? He's going to put two energies on this ground on. Yep, that's what we're probably going to see. Two energies on this, on this, on this, uh, this primal ground on. It's going to be, re be ready to go next turn. That's the key thing. It's going to be going crazy next turn. So strong is strong. On to our turn. We get a Sycamore. All right. I think I want to play an end, though. I don't know if I want a Sycamore. Just call these Via Seekers. So I'm going to Via Seeker for an end. Uh, going to get a new hand of sex. And hopefully we can find a Beedrill. And find... Oh, no. My goodness gracious. Oh, my Lanta. All right, so put a grass in this guy. We'll put an EXP issue in this guy. Put an EXP issue in this guy. And unfortunately, we'll have to pass. All right, so uh, that's not good either. <sighs> Things are going great, guys. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. Don't worry. This deck is fantastic. Play Beedrill Swarm. It's really good. Uh, especially when you prize two Beedrills. Okay. All right, all right. Whatever. Whatever. We got this, guys. Don't worry. So strong as you're going to that guy. Okay. Does he have a VS Seeker for Lysander? If he does, he can bring up this Beedrill, take a knock on it, and uh, we'll be in trouble. So, Trainer Spell. I've only got six cards left in the deck as well. So, Scorched Earth coming down. Don't care about that. I, I would actually not put down the Scorched Earth because you already have a Stadium to bump with Groudon. So, unless you want to dig for stuff, but you have six cards left in your deck, you might deck out. So, is he Diamond Gift for 20? 
not taking the knockout steal. Hopefully we talk to top deck a B drill. That'd be fantastic. So two energy going to have Groudon. On to our turn, we get a, a Sycamore. So we'll put an EXP share on the active. We'll play Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards, and can we find a B drill? All right, so we got a B drill. So Ultra Ball, discard in, and a Trainer's Mill. To grab a B drill, we have two Revitalizers left and no more Forge Knight plants. That's great. So we'll grab B drill, put down the B drill. We will. Uh, Grass Energy at Kakuna. No Grass Energy at Beedrill. Retreat. Let's see. We can hit this guy for 80, right? And the next turn hit for 160. And then 160, uh, 167, 167, 8, 9, 10. Uh, oh, that's not enough for knockouts. So that's great. Uh, we could hit the active to maybe get a Beedrill and then maybe take a knockout. But then we, we, don't, have a, we don't have any force. We have, oh, we have one force to play. He's going to bump that. And then we'll put to trouble. So what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna swarm this thing, hit this Groudon. I think that's the best way for sure. So hit the Groudon, do 80 damage. You'll have to retreat and go for the guy on Volcano to knock us out, but then these guys get grass energies. We can maybe go for a poison thing and poison that Groudon. We just gotta hope he doesn't poke my simulator right now, because that'd be terrible. Wait, he actually has Ooh, wait, hold on, I did math wrong. If we get a bee drill this turn, we can take a knockout on this primal Groudon. Uh, so guy on volcano, okay, we had to hit a revitalizer, so 240. Okay, bump in our force. Uh, we'll touch a uh, grass energy from this guy to this guy. Touch a grass energy from this guy to this guy. Okay. Alrighty. Things are going great. So send it to Beedrill. On to our turn. What do we find? We find it in. Okay. I think I'm just going to grass and sycamore. Hmm. What? Oh, he's going to knock us out massive rand, right? So I'm going to grass energy at Kakuna. No grass to the window, and then we'll sick more discard our hand, draw 70 cards. We need to find a revitalizer. All right, so oh, oh, we had a talent map. All right, so we'll talent map. See our price cards. There's the Beedrill. So we're a revitalizer. Get out a Kakuna and Beedrill. Okay. We'll put Kakuna down on this guy. Uh, Put a Beedrill down as well. Okay. Let's see, we're going to take two price cards. Let's see what's in our discard. Okay. We can grab Kakuna and Beedrill. So I'm going to revitalizer. Get another, oh, just Weedle. Okay, so grab Weedle, put that down. I guess we should have held on to that. That might be a smarter play. So grab Weedle, and we'll go for the Poison Sting, or Swimming Sting, for the knockout on the active. Okay, so take a knockout on the active. Do it 160. Yeah, we should have held on to the Revitalizer. Don't know why I didn't, but uh, we'll grab Kakuna and Beedrill. No, we still take a knockout on this crap. We still, yeah, we still have a Weedle on, on this guy. Take a knockout, okay? Which is fantastic. So he's going to send the ground on, hit us for a knockout. We get then Kakuna, and... Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, we can't do it actually. I needed to grab a forest as well, which is impossible. Alright, so that's not good. That's, that's not good at all, okay? So we're actually hit for for 80. Ugh. Ugh, 80 is not good, okay? <laughs> oh no, we have no more revitalizers. We do have Karen though. Karen could uh, see play. Our, it's in the deck somewhere. We know Karen's in the deck, okay? Karen could be our lifesaver actually. Alright, so I mean, we're still looking good. He's going to master and hit us for a knockout, whatever. We get to hit him for a ton of damage. Uh, fighting him with that guy, okay. And our plan is to knock out the Shaman as our last two prize cards, right? So there's a master in for the knockout. Alright, do it 150. We'll touch a grass energy from this guy to this guy, and a grass energy from this guy to this guy. EXP, EXP share right now is being like MVP. So send it B drill. Alright, uh, we'll put down the. Cocoon. Oh, a super rod. Oh, no, but we don't have a forest. That's the problem right now. We do not have a forest of giant plants. All right, so we'll put down Kakuna. Put down the bee drill. All right. Uh, we'll grass energy of Kakuna. The eight, uh, 160. And the next turn we can snipe this guy for knockout. As long, as long as he doesn't theta max. Oh, that could be bad if he theta maxes. So we'll put a sword thing. Yeah, so we're, we're sourcing for 160, okay? So 160, he could retreat. Um, He could also just attack with this guy. If he Theta Maxes, we're in trouble. Like, if he gets another Primal Guard on, we, we're in trouble. Like, that's the key. If he gets Primal Guard on, right, we, we, we don't lose. We're definitely in trouble. He has two Primal Guardians in the discard pile already. So does he play a third one? 
Or is it third one prize? So these cards are Carby Break and a Fighting Energy. Do we see a third Primal Groudon? Uh, looks, okay, no Primal Groudon. Okay, so we might have a chance right now, guys. Woo! All right, so... Yeah, he's going to Massive Rend, most likely. Go down to three. But then we see the Beedrill take a Knockout. We can Super Rod, put a bunch of Pokemon back on our deck. There's a Scorch Shards coming down. Don't care about that. And uh, there's a Massive Rend for the Knockout. So he's going to go down to uh, three prize cards. Uh, we have a Grass Energy from this guy to this guy. He has a ton now. Beedrill is ready to go. Uh, so send a Beedrill. And on our turn, what do we get? Come on, Via Seeker. Oh my goodness. So we're going to Via Seeker for Karen. Okay. So we're going to care, put all our Pokemon back in the deck. Okay. So both players get all the Pokemon, which is fantastic. So press done. Um, press done as well. And then we hit him. Yeah, we hit this guy for knockout, right? We're swimming seeing the active for knockout. We'll go down to two prize cards. And with this, I am grabbing Beedrill and Force of Giant Plants. And next turn, we could potentially get all the Beedrills out and do 120 damage to that Shaman to win the game. All right. I don't think you take a knockout right now. All right. So see Carby coming up. We just got to hope we don't draw into a wrong card. We got to hope he doesn't end us as well. If he ends us, we're in trouble. So Groudon coming down. Don't care about that. A uh, Fighting Gene on the Groudon. Don't care about that. And we have two Beedrills prize. And we still might be able to take this game. As long as he doesn't end us, I'm pretty sure we can win this game. I mean, maybe. We could whiff everybody, uh, though. That could be a possibility as well. But I, I'm feeling very confident right now. Uh, we could put down Beedrill, Love Ball. Okay, so the Diamond Gift for 20 damage. All we need to find is another Beedrill line. So we're going to put two Fighting Drills on somebody. And will Swarming Steam Beedrill take this game, guys? So two Drills on that guy. On to our turn. We get a Mew. That's a great card to draw, too. We'll put down Beedrill. We will put down Force of Giant Plants. Level Ball. For a Kakuna, I mean for Weedle. Alright, so put down the Weedle. Ultra Ball, discard Super Rod, and the Mew to get a Kakuna. And all we need to find is one of these Beedrills, and we can win this game. Wait, we have seven cards left in our deck. We got this, guys. Put down the Kakuna down. We'll put down a Sycamore. Sycamore hand down a seven, and we'll actually get a whole new evolution down. Oh my goodness, so Weedle, Kakuna... Beedrill, Beedrill, and we'll do 106 damage to that Shamaniax and take in the game. Oh my goodness, on the last turn of the game, we got all of our Beedrills out. Oh, care becoming an MVP. So we're Stormy Steam for 160 on the Shamaniax and winning the game. We had two Beedrills prize. Now, reckon we did hit for weakness, which is very great, right? That's, that's a good thing. We hit for weakness, uh, kind of stole the game that way. But man, we had two Beedrills prize and we still did it. But guys, we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. In a second, sorry about that. And hopefully it's another great game. Wow, that was that was pretty crazy. Two beers were prized, and we still did. And we started a shame it too. We don't play Switch or uh, Escape Rope or Foe Stones, which might be a misplay of my part. But we'll see what happens in the next game. Hopefully it's another victory. All right, pretty gets O Dog Twenty Nine playing a Color Psychic and a Water deck. So go ahead, like always. Uh, it could be a Mega Mewtwo deck. Uh, Mega Mewtwo Garboder. Wait, what would water be? I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, water could be... Uh, I don't even know. That, that's the thing that came to my head. It was like... Yeah, I don't know what water could be. Never mind. I lied. I lied. Maybe I don't know what it is, actually. Water? I mean, it could be like... Uh, a water toolbox stick? Maybe? Um, which is great for us because we have for weakness. Um, if they're in the active spot. But then she's like, who goes first? I mean, y'all probably know what it is, right? I'm just being really dumb. So we get Weedle. We get a Love Ball. Uh, Trainer's Mill, Grass Energies, put Weedle on the Axe spot, okay. We'll press done, and let's look at our opponent's deck, and... Alright, so it's a... Mega Gardevoir, maybe? Like, the Fighting Fever is definitely throwing me off. Alright, oh, I know, it's Rainbow Road. That's what it is, it's Rainbow Road. Alright, I got it, guys, don't worry. I figured it out. Okay, but he's... Oh, wow, he's mulligan so many times right now. Now, usually you can beat Rainbow Road because you just, like, have three Beedrills knock him out. But since he plays Fighting Fury out, they get that plus 40 HP. I think that's Rainbow Road. I could be wrong, though. I could be way wrong. All right, so Kuna, Beedrill. We'll put down Mew for sure. We'll press done. Uh, a Snorlax and a Hypno. <gasps> what a monster. All right, so Talon Battle. Gonna reveal his prize cards. Okay. So it's a... It's a... Toss and turn. No, it's a... Wait, what is it? Yeah, it's a toss and turn Snorlax deck. Okay, so a Love Ball. 
grab another Weedle. Now, the good thing about this is we can evolve out of this. So, put down Weedle. Uh, we'll train your spell. Uh, grab four. We'll grab our own town map as well. So, put town map down. Okay. Oh, look at there. All right. So, we have none of the Evolution Sprites, which is fantastic. So, we're going to Ultra Ball, discard Sycamore and Karen. We'll grab another Weedle. Okay. Uh, we'll put Weedle down on the bench. Brass Energy, and we'll play it in and get both a new hand of six. All right. Uh, can we knock out this guy one one shot? Uh, 180 damage. Guess what? That answer is a big old nope. Uh, do we put down Force? Yeah, we'll put down Force. Uh, put down Kakuna. Ultra Ball. Discard a Grass and a Mew to grab a Shaman. Okay. We gotta grab a Shaman. We'll train as well. Look at the top cards of our deck. Looking for a Love Ball. Uh, we'll grab uh, Revitalizer. Is that even useful? No, we're gonna press done. I don't, there's no Grass Pokemon. Just grab Bell. And then we're gonna Shaman for six new cards. Let's see what can we find. It's like the Battle of the Road deck. Snorlax Hypno versus our deck. All right. So there's Grass Energy, Revitalizer. So we're gonna press done right now. I think our plan is to actually knock out a Hypno, which has 90 HP. So if we, uh, if we get down one more, if we get down a Three Beedrills next turn. We can take a knock on the Hypno and make where he can't put it to sleep. And he can only hit us for 30. Yep. I think that's I think the the plan, the game plan. So delinquent. Uh that's not good. That's not good. Uh we discard Shaman. Sycamore and a Via Seeker. Okay. So discard those three. Which is fine. Like we have it, we have a good hand anyway. Ultra Ball, go discard two cards. Probably grab a Hypno, most likely. He does have one prize. He probably has one in his deck. I imagine he probably has like a 2 2 line. Maybe even a 3 3. But our plan is definitely to snipe this Drowsy out. Now, if he takes a knockout, I'm definitely like forced, like, a revitalizer for a, a Weedle. Sycamore, try to find a Force Snap Plants and all that kind of stuff, uh, for sure. We did discard a Shaman. There's a Hypno coming down. Okay. Remember, we only do 80 damage to this Hypno, right, as of right now, if we get two Beedros down. So, is the Hypno coming down? Okay. And, does that opponent have a DCE? If they have, oh no, just a pass. He didn't even use Goodnight Babies, which I guess is okay. We can just evolve out of it. So, put a Grash in this guy, and we're just going to play the end. Give us both a new hand of six. All right. So, we get a Beedrill. But, nothing else besides that. So, we'll Love Ball for a Kakuna. Uh, we'll put down a Kakuna. And unfortunately, we'll just have to pass. We could put down... Uh, yeah, put down Beedra as well. Sure, why not? And then we'll pass onto our opponent's turn. Okay. So do they find a DC this turn or not? Is the big million dollar question. Uh, there is a Love Ball. Go to search deck for uh, Rim Raid. Okay. Gonna put the Rim Raid down. And yeah, I think our plan is definitely try to snipe out this Hypno. Uh, DC to the active. So he will use Toss the Turn to knock us out. So trainer spell, does he find a Lysander? If he finds a Lysander, oh, that would be so bad. Oh, that would be terrible if he finds a Lysander. Okay, Sycamore, that's not a Lysander, okay. If he finds a Lysander, he brings a Beedrill, take out our own Pokemon, and no EXP share on the field, which I don't know why I didn't put one. I should have put him on a Kakuna, just in case, but I did not. I kind of risk it, and uh, it might still play off. And good night, babies. Good to put both to sleep, and he will take a knock and go into five prize cards. But like I said, our plan is to li like to knock out this Hypno, right? Snipe the Hypno is what the game plan is. So take a prize card. Does he grab Drowsy right now, or does he grab Sycamore? So he's going to grab that Drowsy, which I think is a fantastic play. So put down the Beedrill. And does he wake up and tell us he does not wake up, which is very scary because he can attack us again next turn. And there's an Ultra Ball, which we can Ultra Ball, discard Sycamore, and... Grass energy? <laughs> uh, we'll grab a, a Beedrill. Okay. So we need to find a Forest and some other cards to knock out the Hypno. We'll put down Beedrill, put down the EXP share, and we will via Seeker for Sycamore. Can we find a way to get a Beedrill out this turn? So Sycamore, we need to dig more. We could end our opponent down to five, but we had to find a Forest and a Beedrill line. And no, oh, we oh, I don't think we have it this turn. Like, there's no way we can get it. So Terrainer's Mill, we'll grab a Love Ball. To grab a Kakuna, or grab a, a, a Weedle, but no Force of Giant Plants. So grab a Weedle. We'll put that guy down, and unfortunately we'll have to, we'll put an EXP in this guy as well. And we'll have to go for that Swarming Sting, hit the Hypno for 40 damage. Oh, 80 damage, sorry, we're 10 damage short. 80 is not wake up either. Okay, so on our opponent's turn, he's going to draw a card. And I think our plan next turn is like, 
uh, Revitalizer, gets a Pokemon out, and our opponent down to a little hand size. He's definitely going to grab that Hyp Hypno out of this card pile. There's one in there to grab, okay? <sighs> Man, just just barely missed. I mean, we didn't barely miss it. We missed it by a lot, right? Uh, two Force of Giant Plants in our, in our deck. I mean, we didn't miss those. Oh, that Delinquent, that's what's hurting us right now. That, that Delinquent, that was, a, that was a, a mean move. So, Octillery going to his hand. He can Abyssal Hand at any moment he wants to. But like I said, our plan is definitely to knock out these Hypnos. Um, we don't really care about the active too much. If he wakes up, then he can't hurt us that much, which is great, okay? Uh, we've got to find an energy next turn. We've only played two so far, four in play. Abyssal Hand going to draw some cards. Uh, we have one Grass Prize. We have Super Odd Prize as well, which is actually fantastic. A Grass, a Psych Energy, going, a Fair Energy going to active, which is actually great from Swallow, okay? And a VS Seeker for it, and uh, we're both getting a new hand, all right? And I'm actually fine with this. Like, we have double Revitalizer, double VS Seeker. But, uh, we can maybe draw some good cards, and, oh, there's a Force, and, oh, a Revitalizer. <gasps> yes, all right. So, things are looking better now, so Trainer's Mill. Okay, so our plan is to, like, hit this guy for Knockout, in him and hope he has a bad hand, right? So toss a turn for the knockout. All right, 130. So we'll move an energy from this guy to this guy, and energy from this guy to this guy. Like EXP share is going to be MVP of this game right now. So he's going down to four. I imagine he grabbed the hypno. Yeah, he grabbed the hypno. We'll send a B Joe and let's see what's going to happen, guys. We do have the force type plans, and tells he does not wake up again. Oh no, I've never been so mad to see somebody not wake up. So Grass is the active revitalizer, uh, grabbing a. A Weedle, a Kakuna, and a Weedle. Okay. We'll put down four giant plants. Put down Weedle. Put down Kakuna. B drill. And then we'll end. Put a point out of four. We get six. Okay. So here we go. In. And can we find some more grass book? We'll put down. We do have a low deck size, so the possibilities are high. And there we go. We got a Kakuna. We got a revitalizer. Um Yeah, so this is actually really great. So put down Kakuna. We will revitalizer to get one and two. Uh, put down the Weedle, Kakuna, put down the Beedrill, and all of a sudden we have three Beedrills on the field. Uh, we still can't take a knock on the active, unfortunately. So we'll Swarmy Sting, knock out this guy. Okay, so do 120 damage. And let's see, we'll probably grab like a Super Rod. Um, Yeah, Super Rod seems fine. All right, so we're going to, uh, heads, he does wake up. All right, does he find a Hypno? If he does not find a Hypno, we'll be okay. We'll be okay, guys. We can make it. If he does not find a Hypno, if he finds a Hypno, we're in trouble. So another Snorlax coming down. Don't care about that. A DC going down as well. Okay, Abyssal Hanger going to draw two. Does he find a Hypno? Oh, he's going to find a Hypno. No. All right, but we can get a knockout next turn. How many Via Seekers have we played? We have played two Via Seekers, and we have two left, which is fantastic. Okay. So Hypno coming down, he's going to, good night babies, take a knockout, but we'll be able to knock out his Hypno this turn, which is great. Okay, so he's going to draw some cards. Uh, there's a Love Ball, I'm going to get some cards out. There's, oh, he plays up, how many Hypnos does he play? There's another Drowsy coming down, okay. Oh my goodness. All right, so good night babies, okay. Good night, sweet prince. And toss a turn for the knockout. He's going to three prize cards, okay. We'll move a grass from this guy to this guy. Okay, all right. So, uh, we can still knock on a Hypno, and if he wakes up, he can't take a knock on us. So, send a B drill. Okay, all right, all right. We, we got this, guys. Don't worry. So, tells he does not wake up again. All right, so on our turn, we get a Via Seeker. So, man, that's a card I actually did not want to see. So, Super Rod, shuffle back in. One, two, three. Um, no, I'm actually going to shuffle back in. How many revitalizers have I played? To play two revitalizers. So I'm going to shuffle back in one. I'm going to shuffle back in two grass and a B drill. Okay. We'll put a grass energy on a B drill. And then we'll via seeker for in. Or do we sycamore? Uh, have one card left in our deck and we rely on Karen and other ends. Oh, man. Hmm, uh, we actually have no more ends left in our deck. We only play three. So, I think I'm going to Sycamore. All right, so I'm going to Sycamore. Going down to one, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to hit the Beedrill. All right, so it's Beedrill, Beedrill, Beedrill. So, open down Beedrill. We will Revitalizer. Grab and one and two. Okay. We'll put down Weedle. Put down Kakuna. 
Wait, did, did I do math wrong? Do we have another V Seekers left? We do have another V Seekers. Okay, just making sure. We went another V. I was like, oh my god, that'd be terrible if we didn't have another one down. All right, so we'll swear we're staying for a knockout on the Hypno. Okay. There we go, 106 damage. We'll go down to four price cards. We'll grab a uh, EXP share. We actually really can't put down any put any cards because we'll lose the game. Uh, tells he stays asleep. Oh my goodness, he's gonna draw a card. Okay. We can knock out a Hypno next turn, but do we have enough turns to actually win the game? There's a fair to go to that guy, fighting people going to the Snorlax. Yeah, we might actually not have enough turns to win the game. All right, so uh, fighting people going to that guy. Um, uh, man, he stayed asleep. Oh my goodness. All right, so uh, we're gonna draw a card and then shuffle. Put one, two, three, four. Yeah, we don't have enough turn. Oh, it ends. Okay, delinquent. Oh my goodness, we lost. Like, there's no way we can win that right now. Oh my goodness, my opponent is a beast right now. So this card went to a three, and there's no way we're gonna win right now. We are gonna lose this game. <gasps> no, we oh, no. Yeah, we have. Yeah, he's gonna toss turn for the knockout. Man. Yeah, we're gonna deck out. Like, there's nothing we can do. I'll uh, send a Beedrill. Now we can. Okay, our plan. Okay, our of course. We're gonna top deck via seeker, right? So we're gonna via seeker for a Karen. Put all our cards back in the deck. So we're gonna Karen. We're gonna put all our Pokemon back in there. Okay. We're not even gonna use Revitalizer. A uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We get five more turns, right? So he gets uh two two Hypno back in the deck. We'll put a Grass in the active. And we will Swarming Sting for the knockout on this guy, okay? So take a knockout. Going down to three. Uh, we'll grab a Grass Energy, and hopefully this Snorlax wakes up. Oh my goodness, we just lost. Like, there's no way we can win now. Oh my goodness, we have no more Grass Energy left to die. The only Grass Energy is on active. We, we probably, like, would have had that had a chance, right? We could have knocked out the artillery, put another on the drowse, we could knock that down, and pretty much have won the game. Because the most he can do at one turn is, well, I guess he could two-shot our Beedrills. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he probably would have won regardless. Oh, we tried so hard, guys. We tried so hard. Oh, man. But, yeah, it looks like Beedrill will take a loss against this Snorlax artillery hypno deck. Oh, just so unlucky. Like, okay, Mew a Mewtwo comes down. That's, uh, well, we actually can't knock that out either. Hmm. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Like, he's won this game. We really can't do much. He's going to toss turn for the knockout. We don't have any more energies left. But we'll try. We'll try. Maybe he'll do something silly. Uh, Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Maybe he'll deck himself out. Right? Maybe that's what happened. Uh, there's a Drowsy coming down. A Snorlax coming down. We have no EXP share. Fighting from that guy. Okay. Abyssal hand drawn one. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know how we can win this game now. He's gonna what we he's gonna take a knockout gun on one. Did he have a VS Seeker? If he had a VS Seeker, he could have won by knocking out the Mew. Uh yeah. So Doss turn for a knockout, okay. 130. Great. So going on one. Uh we'll send Beedro in. Like I don't know <laughs> what we can really do right now. Uh hey, there we go. He finally wakes up, but he has a hypno in his hand, unfortunately. Uh there's a shaman, a revitalizer. Can we do anything? Um, 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 let's see. Anybody have a cool one attack? One energy attacks? Uh, Psychic needs two. Hug needs three. Uh, Toss turn needs three. Uh, I guess the only real cool attack is we can storm his thing. Or we can poison thing with this guy, but then he just gets knocked out. Uh, maybe he'll forget to, uh, maybe he'll forget to, you know. Use Hypno. So poison thing for 30. Uh, poison it for plus 10. All right. And there's a 10 damage coming out. I want to punch her. Let's see what happens. Maybe he'll forget to, uh, maybe he'll forget to evolve. Oh, there's a DC going to Snorlax. There's a, a Hypno coming down. I don't think my opponent realized he won the game. Like, I don't think, I don't think he, I don't know. Maybe he thought he won the game. But there we go, guys. There's the, uh, the Beedrill deck. So maybe... My like game one was good, like we beat an EX deck, which is really great. But I think what the deck might struggle with is these non EX decks, like you see right here. This non EX deck was pretty bad to play against. So, like Rainbow Road, probably really bad to play against. Uh, Greninja is probably really bad to play against. Um, stuff like that, like any non EX deck that does a ton of damage. Volcania is probably really bad. Um, trying to think, Raichu's probably really, like, yeah, those are all probably really bad matchups. Overall, I don't think Beedrill's that great of a card. It's definitely fun. Don't get me wrong, it's a great card. Game one was fantastic. This game was a little bit better. 
man, but if only we had kept sniping those hypnos, and if he only had stayed, if he had stayed awake instead of, like, if he, if he didn't stay asleep, we probably would have won the game, but guys, let's look at stats real quick, how many tails my opponent flipped, he flipped seven tails, yeah, like, usually you don't get mad, You're like, tails, that's fine, our opponent can't attack, but against Snorlax, you definitely want to see tails, oh my goodness, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, have a great Friday, hit that subscribe button, alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.